Tommy, a great result Tuesday night, a great result Saturday, plenty of momentum to go into this Saturday. Yeah, I mean, I think I mentioned it to you after the file game and, uh, you know, we, we did feel we were in a good place before the file game. That was just one of them bumps in the road that you have. So, you know, looking beyond that game, we were four unbeaten going into files and we did take that bloodied nose on the evening, but uh, the group have responded fantastically, fantastically well. I think uh, as a staff, we've had a look at certain things and certain personnel that have become available and others that haven't become available and we've, we've managed to get the combinations right. So, yeah, we're, we're really pleased with the two clean sheets. Obviously, it's something that everybody has lived, you know, throughout us every, uh, most, of the, most of the season that we haven't been able to do that. But to put two together against two teams that, when we faced them, were both above us in the table was, uh, was really pleasing. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? They were very tough opponents, but... I think they were almost our best to play, uh, arguably our best displays of the season. Fantastic from all around, wasn't it? You know, we've said after uh, the Ultranum game to a man, you, it would have been hard to have picked a man of the match. I think that was almost the same on Tuesday, wasn't it? Yeah, and I think I'd, I'd much rather them kind of performances on mass when you have players who are visibly outstanding, performing wise better than the other, then you're always going to have an imbalance in your squad. But, you know, I think. It, <laughs> We've tended to we've put in a lot of really good performances this season. They're not always got the the clean sheet for it. You know, it's been a, a mistake or a little slight or a good bit of play. You know, you've got to give opposition credit sometimes. Um, but I just think to uh, you know everybody in the group that's started the last two games or come off the bench in the last two games have been really really you know focused on our intention not to concede a goal. And like we said, most of the season we've tended to score a goal in any one given game. We just hope that continues. Tyler Frost, obviously a bit of a utility man, but sticking him in right wing back seems to have uh, made him a massive goal threat. Obviously, his goal on Saturday and his shot that bounced off Kwame's back into the back of the net. That must be pleasing considering, obviously, AJ's out at the moment. Yeah, I mean, listen, Taylor played a lot of football as a youngster in a wide area. He's got great energy, great legs, great fitness levels, and he's technically really proficient. So it doesn't surprise me he gets himself into the areas to be able to get on the end of balls that are bouncing around in the box. So that, that's really pleasing. Um, yeah, like you said, we, we, we missed AJ's other qualities, but one man's misfortune is always another one man's gain. And uh, we're all about the collective here, as I keep, I keep telling you. And even though AJ, Scotty, Theo, all them lads are injured or not available to us at the moment, um, I know that they're willing the lads on to keep, keep the run going. South End obviously find themselves at the, the lower end of the table at the moment, but we know that's not reflective of what they are, of having seen them earlier in the season. and they, it was a, we, we did well to get a draw. They were a very good side, weren't they? Yeah, one of the better sides that have come to our, our place, I feel. You know, we, we know the staff there really well. We know they know what they're doing. Um, the club's been a bit of a car crash off the field for, for some years now, I believe. And, you know, that, that weight's hopefully off the shoulders of the staff and the players, and I'm sure they'll kick on. But I hope they don't get into too much of a group before the playoffs, that's all. And looking ahead to the rest of the season, we are now, you know, approaching the end of it. It's it's just all about we, we speak about roller coasters a lot, don't we? It's all about creating the highs more than the lows at the moment and, and well, with two wins and on the trot at the moment, it's it's looking good, isn't it? Yeah. Well there's a real roller coaster in South End if anybody wants to go and have a go on that. <laughs> um, but you know the season is a it is a marathon, it's not a sprint. What but what we do after every game, we very quickly analyse it in-house, you know, pick things out that we can slightly improve on, pick other things on that we, we need to retain or maintain. And obviously, because the next game is always a different opposition, we pick on a couple of things that we feel if we act in a certain way, we can uh, impart our will on the opposition. And that's no different. And we won't change that. What is there, 12 games left? Mm. If we were to pick up, you know, the same amount of points per ratio as we have in the previous 12, and then the previous 12 to that, and the previous 12 to that, then we would all be really happy where we finish in the division. We don't talk about anything above a dotted line up there or a dotted line down there. We just move on to the next game.